What's up, everybody? This is That Brown Bat back for another episode of Mod Messin'. And today we have my custom Sully that is available for download if you check out the pinned comment. And you're going to have to do some legwork to install it like the other mods. I can't help that, but that's the way the ball goes or the ball bounces or the whatever. And you can see I just give him some fur. So I worked Sully from the frame of Obi-Wan Kenobi, but you're not going to really be able to tell that because I changed a lot of things. Okay, so when you go to uh, the download page and download Sully, this is what you're going to see in the folder. You're going to have an assets folder. And of course, the assets are going to replace everything regarding the character mod. So characters, game DB, and textures. Game DB and core, pretty much what you're going to do is you're just going to take these folders, right? And you're going to copy them or cut them, whatever, after you unzip the files. You're just going to go into your assets folder and paste it. And it's going to say, do you want to replace? And you say, yep. And all of them should go into the right spot. Now, I did give you backups of the texture. I didn't give you backups of anything else. So that's on you if, uh, to back up those other files. You should have a master backup anyway if you're doing modding. Just doing that alone isn't going to allow you to uh, uh, access the characters. You're still going to have to do two more steps, as I've shown you in previous videos. You're going to have to go into GameDB Core, and you're going to have to modify the toy box data map and you're going to have to modify the toy box actors right and i've shown you that in previous videos here are the input or here's the uh text you're going to want to override uh this one for the npc which would be the blockhead uh, entry and blockhead for sully is weird it's spelled wrong it's blockhead parentheses or in the parentheses is going to be s u l l e y and the toy box data map entry let me show you that so if i go to game db go to core go to toy box actors and i do a control f to search and i type in blockhead parentheses s u l l e y and that's where Blockhead Sully is going to be. And of course, you're going to change the name to whatever the DNX file is. Custom MU Sullivan DNX. And the Toy Box data map, you're going to find the same name. You're going to find Blockhead parentheses Sully. And you're going to override the entry in there. It's not this long. It will be this long after you paste it in there. Uh, but it's going to go all the way down to, but not including AV dash. And doing this will get the NPC character to work because that's overriding the blockhead. But you have to do both of those instances for the blockhead NPC to work. And then secondly, uh, we have the custom Sully toy box data map entry, which is going to override the actual player character. So you're going to find that if you do a control F and he's going to be under mu actually it's in the quotation marks mu underscore i think it's sullivan nope it's sully s-u-l-l-y without the e all right and then you're just gonna highlight everything underneath it going down to but not including stopwatch then you're just gonna paste all that in there and uh, you should be good to go if you did it right. <laughs> Sometimes I even scare myself. All right, so with everything maxed out, the only thing I didn't max out is super jump. I don't know if Sully's supposed to have super jump abilities. You can if you want. Um, you're going to get the file for Obi-Wan to be maxed out too. So you can spend all the points and not have any left over and he's going to have a maximum of 20. He's gonna get a maximum of 20 special move, and he's gonna fill up really fast, okay? It's his standard four combo. 
And of course, if you hit five, he does the, what they call it, a lightsaber launcher. Sometimes he does that, but there's a slam. His dash. His dive roll. And now if you do his combo, his, his single pause. He has the Hulk stomp and then a roar again. If you do his double uh, pause combo, he just has two roars. If you jump and dash, he'll do a land like that, land hard. If you jump combo, I couldn't think of anything better to do than that. If you do the jump combo pause, so I think it's two, then pause. So <laughs> he has the other roar, which lifts him up. Uh, but, you know, that's the best I was go I, I could do, you know? It took me all day to do this. Yep, his dash combo. He just clobbers him. And he has force push as well, which is another roar. Pretty much everything's a roar, but hey, it's better than only having two attacks. And the shoulder dash is kind of lame in my honest opinion. So what that does is it stuns him Stuns him with fear. All right, so now let's do our super, super move. Now, some of them will have the swirly around their head for the monsters, the bad guys, but not all of them, but you see they're shooting each other. Because they're afraid. And if I do a single tap, again, I'll roar. And he's confused. Let's uh, launch him into the air. All right, well, there's that. Now let's take a look at your NPC Sully. Let's watch NPC Sully fight against how about Gamora I've got work to do <laughs> Oh now she's got to go find him Yeah, we're going to take it forever. She has quite a bit of shields and they keep regening. Oh, you wanted to fight Where'd he go? Did she throw him be oh man, she threw him way way out here. Oh he's done. Well, that's what NPCs do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and next time we will have a new Elsa.
Did you need something? Thank <laughs> you. 